Hello everyone. In the last video, we had seen what is nervous coordination and what is hormonal coordination. So if there is hormonal coordination system, then there are hormones that have to be transmitted through the body. We have read about the hormonal coordination system. So let's see the different hormones which are involved in it. Now all the glands that secrete their products or hormones directly into the blood without the involvement of nervous tissue are called as endocrine glands and the system as a whole is called as endocrine system. Now we have seen that there are many glands which are present in the endocrine system. Let's see these glands one by one in a detail. So first we, first we talk of the brain. Now the brain has the main pituitary gland which is responsible for the secretion of many hormones. Now when we talk of the pituitary gland, it, is, it secretes many hormones but mainly the growth hormone. Now the growth hormone is responsible for the height of the human being. The deficiency of this hormone can lead to dwarfism. Now near to the pituitary gland is the hypothalamus gland. This hypothalamus gland controls the amount of pituitary gland hormone which has to be secreted. That means it governs or it guides the amount of hormones that have to be secreted by the pituitary gland. Now near to these two glands is the pineal gland. Now the pineal gland is responsible for all the biological activities and reproductive hormones. The main function of the pineal gland is controlling the circadian rhythm. Now this circadian rhythm controls the sleep and other biological activities. Now if next time anybody says that you sleep a lot or you have a sleeping problem then you have to just answer that it's not you it's because of the circadian rhythm. So we have seen the three glands which are present in the brain. Now let's come to a little lower part of the body which is neck. Now the neck has two glands that are thyroid glands and the parathyroid glands. Now when we talk of the thyroid glands, it secretes a hormone called thyroxine. This thyroxine is responsible for the regulation of carbohydrates, proteins and fats metabolism so as to provide the best growth to the body. Iodine is important for the synthesis of this thyroxine hormone. Iodine is mainly found in the salts. Now so you can think that why the salt advertisements which we see on our TV have focused on iodine content of the salt. Lack of thyroxine causes a disease called goiter whose symptoms is swollen neck. Now behind the thyroid gland is the parathyroid gland. This parathyroid gland is responsible for the calcium content of the body. This parathyroid gland secretes a hormone which regulates the calcium content of the bones and the teeth. That means how much amount of calcium will go to bone and teeth are controlled by the parathyroid hormones. Now let's come to a little lower part of the body. Now have you ever thought when you watch a horror movie or you enter into a dark room, your heartbeat increases. This is because of the adrenaline hormone which is released. Now these adrenaline hormones are responsible for all the activities which happens to you spontaneously. Now like if you, if you are running or fighting, I know these two things are entirely different. But the one thing which is common in between them is the energy which is required. So the adrenaline gland secretes the adrenaline hormone which provides the energy which is needed to do these activities. Now these activities require a huge amount of energy which the adrenaline hormone drifts from different parts of the body and supply to the organs or the parts which, are, which needs it. This adrenaline hormone is secreted by the adrenal glands which are placed over the kidneys. Now this adrenaline is directly secreted into the blood which reaches to the target organ. The target organ of the adrenaline hormone is heart. So that is the reason our heartbeat increases and the oxygen supply to 
to the targeted organ or to the targeted part which has to be moved increases. The breathing rate also increases due to the rate of supply of blood increases. So, this hormone is also called as 3Fs, where the 3F stands for fight, flight and fright. So, in short, we can say that these hormones reduces the supply of oxygen and energy from different parts of the body and directs it towards the targeted part which have to be moved or which have to show the activity. Now, you might have heard of diabetic people and their taking of insulin injections. Have you ever tried to find out the reason why they are injected with insulin? So, I will give you the answer. Insulin regulates the sugar level or the glucose level of the blood. This insulin in human body is naturally secreted by the pancreas gland which are situated little lower to the adrenal gland. Now this pancreas not only secretes insulin but also releases the pancreatic juice which are responsible for the digestion process also. These pancreas release hormones, insulin which regulates the blood sugar level of the human body. Now insulin is one of those hormones which can be artificially injected into the human body. At last comes the reproductive hormones. Now till now we have a great deal with puberty. These puberty brings the changes in the normal body which we go through in our teenage, teenage years. Right? So this is because of the secretions of the testosterone by the testes in males and the estrogen by the ovaries in the females. So, till now we have seen the different hormones which are secreted by the different glands and this brings us to the end of the hormonal system of the human beings. In the next video, we will be seeing the plant coordination system and the plant hormonal system.